So maybe this time... Throughout his teenage years, friends and family say Clay Waycaster was passionate about two things, his faith and golf. The most important thing in Clay's life was his personal relationship with his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Just various uh, trophies and things that Clay received over time, just enjoying the game of golf. In April 2005, Clay, who was an honor student at Tupelo High School and an officer in the FCA club, was in his freshman year at Ole Miss when he died suddenly, the victim of an undisclosed medical condition. A short time later, the local FCA director asked the Waycaster family if they would allow the ministry's annual golf tournament to be renamed in honor of Clay. Clay just represents what a student athlete uh, that loves Jesus Christ is about. Earlier this week, the 7th annual Clay Waycaster FCA Memorial Golf Tournament took place. Wet weather didn't keep 22 teams, 30 corporate team and whole sponsors, and up to 30 volunteers from raising more than $20,000 for Northeast Mississippi FCA clubs. The money is used to, to pay our travel, uh, we use it to, to get Bibles, uh, have speakers. Each member of the Waycaster family is involved in the tournament, but this year a new addition was looking on. This past spring, six years to the date that Clay's life on this earth ended, his sister Jill gave birth to his nephew. They did name him Clay, and it was not her due date. And for the family, holding the tournament gives them an opportunity to share how they remain strong in the face of life's greatest tragedy. We know that it is not in our strength, but in the Lord's strength. And uh, of course, Clay, uh, witnessing this today, he's proud that uh, the FCA ministry that he was part of is continuing here in northeast Mississippi. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.